if you've got the chances of life ever being on Mars, you'd need to have somewhere that had liquid water for at least a period of time. And we've got good evidence for that. Scientists have made some amazing finds that have made people think again about whether or not there was or is life on Mars. It's honestly extremely hard to know what exactly to believe. Are these images we see really worth concluding on, or are they just ordinary? Let's confirm in these 20 pieces of evidence that Mars was inhabited by a lost civilization. Number 20. Faces Scientists got to know that there were faces on Mars 25 years ago. Recently, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft decided to check out the planet and took pictures of the surroundings. This was even when they knew nothing about this planet. At the point that they started to take pictures, they began seeing things that really surprised them. One major thing they saw was faces, and looking at the pictures they took, it seemed like the faces were looking back at them. Whoever the cameraman was, he or she did a good job. Ever since this was discovered, the phrase face on Mars became a watchword for people interested in things beyond Earth. Not only did it gain their interest, but it had also become the main plot in movies, novels, magazines, and radio discussions, and has even spent 25 years haunting grocery store checkout lines. Some people believe that the face is verifiable proof that there is life on Mars, something that, according to conspiracy theories NASA would prefer to conceal. Defenders of the NASA budget, meanwhile, wish there was a prehistoric society on Mars. When the Mars Global Surveyor landed on the Red Planet in September 1997, a full 18 years after the Viking missions ended, photographing Cydonia became a priority for NASA, despite the fact that few scientists thought the face was an alien artifact. Jim Garvin, the program's lead scientist, stated that they felt this was important to taxpayers. Faces on Mars is very intriguing information, but isn't it a thing to be worried about if there are real people or aliens on Mars? And if this isn't enough evidence for you and you want to see more stories about life on Mars, like and subscribe to this channel. Number 19. Pyramids here, pyramid-like structures were sighted on Mars. They're basically hills or mountains with almost perfect symmetry, looking extremely alike to the Egyptian pyramid. Even though the pictures taken were quite low in quality, you could still see the pictures clearly. The structures can be seen on Mars in the Cydonia region, an albedo feature that attained celebrity status in the 1970s. Some of the photographs of the Martian landscape acquired by the Viking missions in the 1970s showed a configuration that resembled a human face. ET enthusiasts immediately recognized this as a building constructed by intelligent life forms like ours. One of them is the D&M Pyramid, which has near-perfect symmetry. Because the pyramids were near the face on Mars, theories about their alien origins gained traction. According to proponents of the notion, the face on Mars was built by residents of the nearby metropolis known as the Pyramids on Mars. Basically, this is what brought about the face on Mars. They even mentioned the odd smoothness of the huge area next to the Martian pyramids, which may have been a sizable body of water like an ocean. The city's close proximity to a sizable body of water is characteristic of its residents, who would ordinarily like to live close to a sizable supply of natural resources and a means of transportation. Number 18. Mystery Dome UFO hunters believed the rock-looking object on Mars to be military bunkers. But looking at it, it looks more like a decayed object rather than a rock. But what do we know? They said they found what they think to be everything on the red planet, from military bunkers to coffins, in the hope of supporting their odd theory. They claim that their most recent sighting of a rock by the Opportunity rover is, in fact, a man-made dome that was left behind by an alien culture at some point in Mars's ancient history of flooding. They believe that the dome's center glow or light proves that it might be metallic and reflect sunlight. Although it appears to be the first dome seen on Mars, several have been discovered on the moon's surface. Most scientists believe that these are the product of ancient eruptions that created flat, broad volcanoes. The most recent sighting comes after a similar finding earlier this year, in which skeptics asserted that they had spotted a Martian replica of one of Egypt's Great Pyramids. They claimed 
the pyramid is proof that an ancient civilization once existed on Mars due to its near-perfect design and shape. Alien hunters claim that although the pyramid is thought to be car-sized, it may only be the surface of a much larger building that's hidden underground. Number 17. Mermaid it has been reported that there are mermaid sightings on Mars. It wasn't enough for people on Earth to formulate the idea of mermaids here. The new information is their existence on Mars. This is quite unbelievable, as there's no body of water on Mars except the mermaids living on other elements on Mars. No matter how normal things look, some weird people have a habit of searching for odd details in the images captured by the Mars rover over the past four years, such as rover routine a mysterious curly cue that may be a drill mark, or bunny ears, bits of fabric left by the rovers, or the Martian footprint, the imprint of a wheel tread. The Martian mermaid is now considered to be one of these mysteries, and its popularity was brought to light by an article in the Daily Mail with the headline, Life on Mars. Some news outlets even said that the object may be a Martian version of the Little Mermaid figure in Denmark, which, if true, wouldn't be surprising at all. But despite all the assuring words, many people take this to heart and see the whole event as a scary sign that NASA is hiding proof of life from other planets. Can you say if this is a plot or not, or a means for people to just create chaos from something ordinary? We need your opinion. Number 16. Changing Landscape The 8-kilometer-tall Mount Sharp, which is situated inside the 154-kilometer-wide Gale Crater, is being investigated by NASA's Curiosity rover. The photographs of the stony terrain and hills that the rover is returning to Earth are exciting to scientists. All this is from a spacecraft touring Mars, and it's extremely interesting to see where Curiosity is at at the moment. It is in an environment in between two different geographic zones, where the first has a lot of clay minerals and the second has a lot of salty minerals, called sulfates. Looking at the layers of mountains in this area, you probably should be able to figure out why the atmosphere's temperature in Gale Crater is getting denser as time goes. The mission's primary long-term objective is to closely examine this region because similar changes are taking place all over the world. Rocks are broken into tiny bits by the drill, which the rover subsequently incorporates into its body. Two specialized equipment inside the rover determines what kind of minerals and compounds are present in the rock fragments. A location called Pontors is where the Mars rover Curiosity has gathered its 30-second sample of rock. This sample will offer insightful data regarding the transition from a region with clay minerals to to one with sulfates. Number 15. Clay Minerals Clay minerals were reportedly seen on Mars by scientists from France and the United States. This could have meant that this planet could have supported life in the past. In 2016, Curiosity reportedly took clay samples from the Gale Crater on Mars, and it was proven that the samples contained elements. Scientists also found solid evidence that there used to be a lake in the 154-kilometer-wide Gale Crater. This happened around three and a half billion years ago, and lasted for millions of years. They were uncertain if the body of water had the necessary conditions, such as low temperature and neutral pH, to sustain life. Glauconite is the name given to the clay mineral that the scientists found. This research result was exciting because it simply suggested that liquid water may have been stable on Mars for a specific period of time. Glauconite is a mineral that has a greenish color and is made up of iron, potassium, and phyllosilicate. It is said to take thousands of years to form and is also in need of constant conditions, like neutral pH water and temperatures between negative 3 and 15 degrees Celsius. The fact that the Gale Crater clay samples contain it indicates that Mars had the necessary necessary conditions to create it at some point in the past. Just because we can see now that Mars has elements that could support life doesn't necessarily mean that life has ever existed there, but recently, scientists and researchers have been making certain plans to find out if there's water on Mars. Number 14. Organic Matter 
NASA scientists have reported that the Perseverance rover has gathered some of the most significant samples yet in its mission to explore Mars and determine if there was ever life on the planet. The rover has been investigating an ancient River Delta site. They found some interesting samples from Jezero Crater, which used to have a lake and a delta that flowed into it. These samples contain organic matter, suggesting that the crater might have had conditions that could have supported life around three and a half billion years ago. The Perseverance rover is gathering samples of rocks that may contain evidence of past life, known as biosignatures. The rover has collected a total of 12 rock samples so far. They are also particularly interested in Jezero Crater, which is 45 kilometers wide because it contains a delta. This area has some really old layers of rock that formed when the sediment in the water stuck together. It's like a time tablet that shows us cool evidence or proof of how Mars has been changing over time. The robot looked at the crater's bottom and showed that there were signs of igneous rock on Mars. This could have been made when volcanoes erupt, and for about five months now, Perseverance has been on its second mission to study the delta. This time, it has found proof of layers of sedimentary rock that tell us a lot about the mysterious temperature and areas of Mars. Number 13. Sun Rays Recently, NASA's Curiosity rover took a picture of a Martian sunset that was particularly striking. Martian sunsets are known for their unique and moody appearance, but this one was worth taking note of. This is both beautiful and interesting, and it would definitely make you doubt your choice to live on Earth. Crepuscular rays are said to be the lines of light that seem like they come directly from the sun. It's also the Latin word for twilight. Can you imagine? On Mars, scientists were able to sight the sun's rays for the first time with more than enough details to use. The rover Curiosity recently took some amazing pictures during its latest survey of twilight clouds. This survey is a continuation of its observations of night shining clouds in 2021. Martian clouds are usually found about 60 kilometers above the ground and are made of water ice. Just like on Earth, clouds play a vital role in helping scientists understand the weather. Weather. Although it can be challenging, analyzing clouds provides valuable insights into weather patterns. Scientists can gain insights into the composition, temperatures, and winds of the Martian atmosphere by studying the formation of clouds and their location. In the 2021 cloud survey, Curiosity's black and white navigation cameras captured more images, giving us a closer and more detailed view of the structure of clouds as they move. The researchers are also conducting a survey using a rover's mast camera, also known as a mast cam, to observe how cloud particles evolve over time. Number 12. Spaghetti-like object The Perseverance rover sent by NASA to explore Mars recently took a fascinating photo of an object resting on the planet's red sand. It turned out to be a bundle of string, which is quite an unusual find on the Martian surface. The space agency officials have confirmed that they think the object found is a string that was left behind from Perseverance's landing. Funny, right after getting their hopes high, calling it a spaghetti-like object is the most hilarious. A spokesperson for the Perseverance mission at NASA explained that the string could have come from either the rover or its descent stage. The descent stage is a component that works like a rocket-powered jetpack to safely lower the rover to the planet's surface. According to the spokesperson, the rover is currently exploring Jezero Crater, an ancient delta on Mars. Its mission is to search for any evidence of microscopic life that may have existed on the planet billions of years ago. On February 18, 2021, Perseverance landed in this very crater. Number 11. Wild Martian River the Perseverance from NASA took different new pictures to show proof that Mars once had a busy river. Scientists even think that the river was deeper and had waves faster and quicker than any other river that has ever been found on Earth. Jezero Crater has been watched by the rover for about two years, and it was found out that the river is connected actually to a number of waterways that flow into the crater. The Perseverance rover is currently investigating a fascinating geological formation. A fan 
almond-shaped pile of sedimentary rock that rises 250 meters high. The layers of rock are curved, which indicates that they were formed by the movement of water. Perseverance's Mast Cam Z instrument has taken hundreds of images that have been combined to create two new mosaics. These mosaics provide important clues about the surface of Mars, including the presence of coarse sediment grains and cobbles. The Mast Cam Z camera has taken a picture of a place called Scrinkle Haven, which is part of a curvy area. The scientists are confident that the curved layers in this area were created by water flowing with great force. However, Mast Cam Z's high-quality images have sparked a debate among them about the type of water flow that caused it. Some think it could be a river like the Mississippi, which twists and turns across the land, while others believe it could be a braided river like Nebraska's Platte, which creates small islands of sediment known as sandbars. Number 10. Liquid Water NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has discovered new evidence that suggests liquid water may be flowing on Mars, and it's said to be the strongest evidence we have that liquid water exists on Mars. Scientists reportedly used a spaceship called MRO with one of the major tools called an imaging spectrometer to watch the strange streaks on Mars. They found evidence of minerals that contain water on the slopes where the streaks are located. During warm seasons, these objects become dark and seem to move down steep slopes, but they become lighter and less noticeable in cooler seasons. On Mars, there are certain spots where you can see something interesting happening. These spots only show up when the temperature is warmer than minus 23 Celsius, but when it gets colder, they disappear. They now have scientific evidence that supports their suspicions. Scientists have observed downhill streaks on Mars called recurring slope lineae that may be connected to liquid water. The discovery of hydrated salts on the slopes suggests a possible connection to the dark features in that area. When salts are added to a liquid brine, they make it harder for the brine to freeze. This is similar to how salt is used on roads on Earth to melt ice and snow faster. Scientists also had thoughts that the darkening of the surface was caused by a shallow flow of water underneath it, as it is from there wetness gets to the surface. Number 9. Carbon Scientists were excited to have found carbon on other planets like Mars as it is a major ingredient for life. Curiosity on Mars even found an interesting mix of carbon that might be a sign of life from outside Earth. They also saw three likely reasons carbon was seen in the soil in the Gale Crater. Over the process of nine years, this residue was collected by the scientists. The Mars rover heated 24 powder samples to analyze the different mixes of carbon-12 and carbon-13 isotopes. This suggests that there are processes happening that are not part of the normal carbon cycle that we see on Earth today. Number 8. Rare Egg Rock some people said it looked like an egg, while others said it resembled the broken head of a miniature figurine. It was a small, round object that looked like a golf ball. Researchers found it on Mars with the help of the Curiosity robot. They had also done some research and saw that it was just a rock made of iron and nickel that fell from the sky onto Mars. This is no doubt a rare find. It's said that stones like meteorites made of iron and nickel can be found on both Earth and Mars. And surprisingly, egg rock was found on Mars, and it was the first of its kind to be studied by NASA. ChemCam was the tool used to figure out what was in this stone, and most of the components it found were iron, nickel, phosphorus, and a few other things on it. The exact amounts of these substances are still being determined by analyzing the light produced from multiple laser pulses at nine different points on the object. Object. According to Meslin, the presence of high levels of nickel and phosphorus in certain areas indicates the possible existence of a mineral called iron nickel phosphide. This mineral is quite uncommon, except in iron nickel meteorites. Number 7. Spooky Spiders Scientists in the UK experimented with a large piece of dry ice to investigate the mysterious alien patterns on Mars known as spiders. When scientists discovered branching black shapes on the surface of Mars's South Pole, they were reminded of spiders, but they're not actually spiders. These shapes can be seen on satellite pictures and are referred to as Araneiforms. They were initially found more than 20 years ago. Even though they weren't actual spiders, they look so scary. 
scary. Their huge shapes were as big as one kilometer and honestly look nothing like anything we see in pictures and videos on Earth. Scientists were able to make tiny spiders by copying the features of what they saw. They also achieved this by using dry ice and a device that mimics the atmosphere of Mars. When the icy surface touched the warm sediment that resembled Mars, some of the ice turned into gas right away, which is called sublimation. Lauren McEwen, a planetary scientist, stated that their research provides the initial proof of a surface process that is believed to alter the polar landscape on Mars. Now, this is an exciting discovery. The experiments have provided evidence that the spider-like patterns we see on Mars are formed by the process of dry ice changing from a solid to a gas. Number 6. Lava Flows Throughout history, Mars has presented humans with peculiar formations that have sparked wonder, curiosity, and confusion. There have been some interesting discoveries in space, including the famous face on Mars, a rock shaped like a jelly donut, and an object that looks like a human femur bone. Geologists saw a rock creation that looked exactly like a waffle but was in different and odd shapes. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter even took interesting pictures of it that NASA also shared online. The photos show a mysterious landform that has left scientists puzzled. In the Athabasca region of Mars, there is a circular feature that is 1,931.2 meters wide. This area is known for having some of the planet's most recent lava flows. The smooth regions surrounding it are the result of lava flows. Some people who are really into the idea of aliens might look at the photo and think that it shows intelligent life having breakfast on Mars. However, NASA scientists have a more likely explanation. They think that maybe there was lava under the mound and it pushed it up from below. The mound seems to be lacking some material, which suggests that there might have been a lot of ice in it that melted due to the hot lava. Number 5. Weird Light the recent discovery of a sudden increase in methane levels by NASA's Curiosity rover has sparked a lot of excitement and interest among people. According to Andrew Good, a specialist in NASA's media relations, the most probable explanation for this is that it's either a sun glint or scattered light. We have observed this phenomenon repeatedly during the mission. In 2014, Curiosity used a robot to take pictures of a glow on the horizon. Doug Ellison, who worked for NASA and controls the camera, stated on his personal Twitter account that the light was most likely caused by a cosmic ray. Galactic cosmic rays are particles that move at the speed of light and come from other stars and from other galaxies. They also come into our solar system through the sun. Radiation from space is said to be able to hurt humans on Mars, so scientists are looking for better and safer ways to protect themselves from it. This is a very vital thing to think about for the safety and wellness of the individuals that will be exploring the Red Planet. Number 4. Martian Lizard a person who searches for aliens thinks that he has discovered some clues that suggests the existence of life on the red planet Mars. He insists to have found a picture of an animal with horns on the surface of Mars. Photos shared by the Curiosity rover even showed what looked like an alien reptile on the planet's surface. It's likely that the thing is only a rock posing as a creature, and they are yet to go closer and verify. The picture also showed what appeared to be an iguana fossil on the surface of Mars. It's interesting to note that a UFO enthusiast has previously claimed to have seen a lizard on Mars. Back in 2013, there were a few websites that reported on an interesting image that supposedly showed a fossilized iguana on the surface of Mars. Number 3. Slithering Formations NASA has made another exciting discovery during its exploration of Mars. The latest finding looks like giant sandworms that met a fiery end while emerging from an ancient crater. The Curiosity rover recently shared a photo of the formations on the planet. The main purpose of the rover is to find out if there is an acceptable climate for life on Mars. In the massive impact basin known as Gale Crater, which was created by a meteor strike 3.7 billion years ago, it has proven the existence of some intriguing, complicated formations. It is probable that the spikes are the result of cemented fillings from fractures that occurred long ago in sedimentary rock. The finding resembles a miniature version of the Devil's Tower located in the Black Hills of Wyoming. 
but on the other hand, it lies tucked away at the bottom of an ancient crater on a distant planet. Despite the fact that the answer is straightforward, not everyone is persuaded. Some skeptics point out that NASA discovered what appeared to be a tomb door in May, and this was after they found a face-like carving partially buried on Mars many years ago. Number 2. God Buddha Statue the rover has captured a fascinating image that has caught the attention of many people. Some believe that the image resembles a figure of Buddha on the surface of the planet. UFO Sightings Daily made the image widely known. In August, the website that reports UFO sightings was the first to share the intriguing photo of the Dark Lady on Mars. The rover in recent times uncovered a discovery that will forever be in history. It exposed evidence that at approximately 3.5 billion years ago, Mars had huge existing lakes that were loaded with water. It was even speculated by scientists that Mars once sustained a certain climate more dense than it has today. This would have most likely made it possible for water to stay on the planet's surface without instantly vaporizing. Unfortunately, the atmosphere on Mars presently is reported to not be conducive to surface water in its current state. The Mars rover captured a breathtaking image of the planet's blue-hued sunset in April. Did you know that sunsets on Mars appear blue? This is because the dust particles on the planet are just the right size to allow blue light to pass through more easily than other colors. Pretty cool, right? Number 1. Christmas Tree NASA recently shared an intriguing photo captured by its rover, which displays an unexplained Christmas tree-like formation on the surface of Mars. On December 23, 2019, the rover sent a black and white image back to Earth using its nav cam, which acts like an eye. By looking at the photo, it's clear to see the presents that are wrapped and placed under the Christmas tree. The ornaments adorning the tree look beautiful, even when viewed from a distance of 3,219 kilometers. It's not clear how the gifts ended up there and what they actually were. To whom are these gifts intended to be given? Today, NASA scientists are wondering if they should feel jealous. The most unexpected thing was the sight of a poodle hiding under the tree. NASA scientists quickly identified the male poodle and found that he was happy and able to breathe. The discovery of a Fraser fir tree on Mars would be incredibly exciting if it turns out to be real. Scientists who specialize in studying the properties and behavior of celestial objects are currently discussing and exchanging ideas about this particular topic. People are making wild guesses about who might be responsible for something, with some suggesting it could be the Gutens, while others think it may be the Zebens. Many scientists believe that the bright season on Mars is caused by natural phenomena rather than the actions of extraterrestrial beings. This phenomenon has been observed by Russian astronauts. Curiosity has spotted similar oddities before. On Halloween in 2014, the rover discovered a strange, pumpkin-like object that caught its attention. According to NASA scientist Dr. George Miko, the pumpkin was probably cultivated by gardeners on Mars. Scientists finding out different things on Mars is one of the most intriguing things. We want to learn more about Mars, and with their help, we know so much about Mars already. But looking at all this, can we really believe all these evidences and proofs? In your opinion, does life exist on Mars? Share your understanding with us. Also, check out our other amazing stuff showing up on the screen. Thanks for watching.